Roger, you must be a bit disappointed after playing, I think, 60 minutes against 10 men. Must be a wee bit disappointed that you didn't manage to at least get a goal. Yeah, it is, but that, that's down to two things. I, I didn't think we moved the ball quickly enough um, to to cause even more problems for their defence. And then, secondly, I thought it was down to a, a terrific, honest, brave performance from the 10 men. You know, people say it's harder to play. It's only harder to play against 10 men if you don't do the right things. Um, and we didn't do the right things, and Ear did do the right things. Uh, even even with a man short, they were still really, really dangerous. Shanklin led the line, Moffat was getting to him. Some tremendous breaks for Crawford as well. And in the second half, despite possession, dominance of possession and, and crosses into the box and chances, uh, Ayr could easily have scored on the break. Um, yes, we should have scored the penalty. Oakley had a header. Um, Austin's got scored. You know, we, we could have been, should have really been sitting comfortable 2-0 at half-time. And then it is a different game because we can control the tempo and Ayr have got to come out at some stage and perhaps leave bits at the back. Um, but by not taking those chances, it allowed Ayr to do what they had to do in their, their shape and their organisation. Um, and the fact that they never, they never at any stage decided they were going to park the bus. It was always that threat. And as I say, the honesty and bravery of their team, uh, then they deserve to take that point down the road. There's no doubt about that. Uh, one of your players, Donaldson at the back there, was uh, absolutely uh, strong and looked really one of the top players in this league in the type of play he had, had the ability to come forward as well and caused problems in the box for you. Yeah, he is. Um, and that's, you know, Cole's been, been a very, very good player for us. And, you know, as Ayr know, up to, to the rank with, with Shanklin and Crawford, their, their team's looking at him. But, you know, Cole done what he had to do. He, he had a great battle against Shankland. I thought, as I say, I thought Lawrence led the line really well. and was a, a great uh, focal point for the team to come and play off. The amount of times he brought it down, kept it, allowed Muffet to, to come and support him, which allowed Ayr to get up the park and out of their box. Mm -hmm. um, there was only a wee 15-minute spell, sort of midway through the second half, where our set halves dominated him. And we started to get on the front foot again and start to create chances. A few good throw, you know, throw balls mm -hmm. thrown at the box, hit the bar twice and... Um, but you know, as I say, it's it's a strange game because we're disappointed. We we would obviously look at it as two points dropped because uh, we've played for 60 minutes against 10 men. But as I say, I, I cannot in any way, shape, or form deny that Air were worthy of the point. And as I say, as it can happen in games, the longer it went, the more nervous we got and the fans got, and it looked like Air could have nicked it uh, with a couple of decent efforts. So um, we're disappointed, as I say, nil nil. But you know, Air have been playing very well and. You know, it's it's a point that, as you say, given the circumstances, we should have turned it into three. Uh, but due to a, a really resolute and brave, honest performance from United, um, I think the the draw was a, a fair result. Thanks. Well, Ian, that uh, that turned out to be a very good result in in the circumstances today. But the game plan was really changed with the penalty. How did you see the penalty? Well, well first of all, I think you know it's a good result, but. When you analyse the game, the, the two best chances in centre half felt here United, uh, and they were great chances. And Michael Moffat and Lawrence, and Lawrence squares the ball to Robbie. He's got a three-yard tap in, um, but you know I, don't, I think it'd be a bit out of order trying to <laughs> slag uh, Lawrence Shanklin. Um, yeah, the, the centre off. We felt the first booking was just ridiculous. It was just never a booking. You know that was crazy. I've yet to see the penalty. We boys behind the goal saying no, it wasn't. He was on the wrong side, but he never touched him. But we'll see. I'll have a look at it in the video. But we can't appeal it because it was two yellows. So what's done is done, and we'll miss him for. A, I don't know whether we miss him Tuesday or the next league game. I'm not sure. So, um, but when we went down to ten men, I thought another side of the game, not the way we want to play. Although I thought we did play some really nice stuff as well. But we want to go and score. This point we didn't score goals, but down to ten men, you know, I, I felt we, we defended heroically at times, and you know. I, I just said there that we get a lot of praise for how we play and the goals we score, but you know the back four and the goal has lost one goal in, in six games, and um, and that was a fortunate free kick. So they defended really well with the boys in front of them as well, and and you know Robbie Crawford was just sensational. I mean he was just unbelievable. Some of his play, it was like watching a school game. He was going by five or six guys at times. So um, we're happy with the point, but we felt we could have won it. You're talking about defence and everything. Your midfield worked very, very hard, especially in that second half. They must have been exhausted coming out off that park. Well, there was a great level of fitness j just now. I think it's sort of there for all to see, and uh, they kept that you've got to cover the yards, and they, they do that, and they do that willingly. Um, 
you know, just that, that last wee bit about putting the ball in the net, which is very unlike us, the two chances we had. But listen, see the attitude of the players today, it was, and the supporters and everybody, it was first class. I was going to say that, but the supporters, you would have thought they were the home, home support. Game. It was a home game. They say Somerset is far nicer than this place, uh, albeit I love Inverness, but it was like a home game. All I could hear was United fans. And obviously you're talking about Lon Shanklin, we talk about, about the goal scorer, but the amount of work he had to do in the second half, he was marked by two, sometimes three players, yeah. and yet he was still getting about, well, about yeah, the action. Absolutely, and what the supporters don't know is he's not trained this week, he's, he had a problem with his, just his lower back, and he uh, did a wee bit of training yesterday, but he stayed his back, and could, had a look at him, felt he could do it, and he, he worked his socks off, and to be honest, he just, I mean, he, he got on top of their centre-backs, and he just couldn't handle it. Simple as that.